In this video, I am going to demonstrate probing with the UNC probe. The UNC probe has one millimeter markings. So the probing sequence starts with tooth number one on the buccal surface. I have a modified pen grasp. I'm using an extra oral fulcrum where the back of my hand is resting on the mandibular um, arch. My patient's chin is up because I am working on the maxillary arch. For right-handed clinicians, you'll sit at eight to nine o'clock and the head of your patient is slightly turned away. For left-handed clinicians, you will sit at three to four o'clock and your patient will be turned towards you also with an extra oral fulcrum. So now I'm going to insert the probe right here at the distal buccal line angle. I'm in contact with the tooth. I'm going to walk the probe, keep the probe parallel, walking it into the distal and proximal. When you feel the junctional epithelium, that's where you're gonna measure that first reading. I'm going to continue across the buccal surface. I'm using a walking step, keeping the probe nice and parallel to the tooth surface. I'm also in contact with the tooth, walking across the buckle. The deepest reading across the buckle will be the second reading. And I'm gonna walk into the mesial interproximal and get my third reading. After tooth number one, you will go to tooth number two. Again, start distal buccal line angle, walk the probe to the distal interproximal, angle your probe into the cool, continue walking across the buccal surface, staying adapted, maintaining your modified pen grasp, and walking into that mesial. Tooth number three, insert distal buccal line angle, walking the probe into that distal interproximal, angling into that cool. I'm using a one millimeter walking step across the buccal, again, into the mesial. You can stay extra oral with your fulcrum, or you can go intraoral on an incisal tooth surface. So you would then continue across tooth number four, inputting your readings and dentrix, across the buckle, one millimeter walking steps, into the mesial, keeping in contact and tilting into the cool. When you get to the anterior section, you could sit at 12 o'clock the chin would be up and this head would be slightly turned towards you. So you would again start here, the distal facial line angle, walking into the interproximal, continuing across the direct facial and into the mesial. Make sure you're recording your probing depths maintaining your modified pen grasp, and also maintaining your ergonomics. So you would continue probing across the direct facial all the way to tooth number 16. Once you finish the buccal surfaces, you would wrap around into the lingual. So chin up, head is away if you're right-handed sitting at eight to nine o'clock. You can use a chin cup, extra oral fulcrum. For left-handed clinicians, you'll be sitting at two to three o'clock with a palm up, extra oral fulcrum, and the head would be turned towards you using your mirror. So when you come out to the lingual, you'll start with the distal lingual of tooth number 16, coming all the way across to tooth number six, and then going to upper right, lingual, all the way to tooth number one. Once you finish the whole maxillary arch, you would then drop down, starting with tooth number 32. You would have an intraoral fulcrum because it's mandibular arch. You would go all the way across the buckle of the mandibular arch to tooth number 17. Once you finish the whole buckle surfaces on the mandibular arch, you would then wrap around to the lingual and you would end up completing with tooth number 32. 
Again, with the periodontal assessment, don't forget to chart your bleeding upon probing points, any separation, frication involvement, mobility, and recession.